What's up guys, Thomas back with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to install this spoiler using some 3M tape. Now the spoiler that we're going to be installing today is the leg style carbon fiber duck bill. It goes on just like that. But there's also a FRP version of this, which is just matte black, a fat, flat black. And uh, that one's hundred bucks cheaper. So you can save a little bit of money. You can either get it paint matched to your car or just run it black. And when installing this is pretty simple. This, there has been a few cases of people installing these incorrectly and they fall off or they loosen up at highway speeds. So if you do this correctly, you shouldn't have any worries of this stuff falling off because 3M is super, super strong adhesive. And this is gonna be the same process, not just for spoilers, but it's also gonna transfer for many of the cosmetics mods that you're gonna be doing on this cars like Vortex generators. So you can either wash your entire car, or if you just want to clean this section, you can go to the quick detail, right? That's what we're going to be doing with the all clean. Um, if you're going to be doing this, make sure that there's nothing in your quick detail that's a sealant or a wax, because that's going to make this slippier and harder for it to, the 3M adhesive to adhere to it. Also that goes for if you've already applied a wax or sealant to the entire car, that's going to make it tricky to install. So you're going to want to kind of remove as much as that you can using like a degreaser or like Dawn dish soap to get as much of that wax off so you can get just like nice adhesion to the paint. Oh, and if you feel rough marks like dirt embedded into your paint, it's a good idea to clay bar your car before you go ahead and install the wing. Now once the trunk is all clean, we're going to test fit the spoiler and get everything even and aligned and we're going to use the scotch tape to mark out uh, where that is. So it's a lot easier once we have all the adhesive put on, we can just put it in place where we leave our scotch marks or our painter's tape markings. So for this particular wing, we want just a small gap on the side. Make sure that's even with the other side. I'm going to line up the height we need on the trunk. It needs to be right there. Then I'm just gonna cover the side so we know about how much spacing we need when we finally put this on. There we go. Now to prep the wing, we're gonna first wipe down with quick detail, just like we did the trunk on the inside of the spoiler. Then when that's kind of dried out, we're gonna take our alcohol wipes and wipe those out around the border of that because that's where we're gonna be applying the 3M adhesive. Now once you have the spoilers border covered in 3M adhesive, we're gonna just take the small ends, the left and the right side, and we're gonna take the red film off of those. Now for the rest of it, the longer strips in the center, we're gonna take just a couple inches off of those, pull them to the side, and then make a little crease mark at like a 45 degree angle, because then we're gonna pull the rest of them off once it's in place on the trunk. Now just before we apply the adhesive with the spoiler, we're gonna first wipe down the trunk with some alcohol. And then just take your time here. You wanna get everything aligned first on the marks that we made before. Now make sure that all of your little tails are sticking out. If they're not, you're gonna have to pull them back. So right now we just have the sides that are holding this spoiler on. So we just wanna apply some pressure 30 seconds to a minute, just to make sure this thing doesn't fall out when we start pulling out these uh, little red tails, these little uh, film pieces. And once this isn't going anywhere, now we can start peeling this off. Go very slow, because you don't want these to break. All of this film gone and all the adhesive on here, just want to apply firm pressure for a few minutes. Ideally, you'd want something to clamp onto this, but this wing is such an awkward thing to try to 
clamp something down with. You're just gonna have to, just gonna have to hold it for a while. Okay, so ideally in a perfect world, you'd have this clamp down and you have it sit overnight so this thing would never come off. But um, this is gonna be good for now. So let's take the, uh, the painter's tape off and I'll show you how this thing looks. Now one last tip for you guys, if you're installing this in a bit of a chillier environment outside, maybe fall or spring and it's not yet warm outside, um, you'll want to take a hair dryer to this because a cold surface is not going to adhere as well to the 3M adhesive. So warm it up with a hair dryer or a heat gun a little bit and that's going to help a lot. Now if you want to pick one of these things up, I'll leave a link down in the description for them. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email at sales at ftspeedfactory.com. This is Thomas, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so ideally, in perfect word, you'd have the perfect, well, uh, basically we want the pretty close to final finish, fit, fit.